What's up, guys? It's Gito. Welcome back to uh, uh, Pokemon Shadow Live, episode number 111. And uh, I've been on tilt recently, and I was just in like two battles trying to get my rank back up, and uh, the server crashed, so I lost both of those battles for some reason. Anyway, <laughs> um, we have a another game using this bird spam team versus uh, Bob's hyper offense team, I do believe. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead. Actually, this is Tennis's team. Um, I'm going to go ahead and lead with. Um, Kobo as he leads Azelf. I'm fairly certain he has Fire Blast, um, and I do just straight die to that, I believe. I'm just gonna go to Florges because, uh, you know, I can. Uh, this is Memento Shandy into uh, set up sweepers, which is which kind of sucks for my team because uh, it is like Florges isn't exactly like an offensive powerhouse, he's pretty passive. Um, you know, we'll, we'll try to work around it though because I'm just gonna go straight to Florges here. Um, Seeing as I don't want to get fire blasted into oblivion, I'm gonna go ahead and hit him with the timer. Um, hopefully, Showdown doesn't crash again. Yeah, he just goes for fire blast, which is fine. We do see the life orb. Um, I'm just gonna moon blast. Um, yeah, cool. <laughs> That's what I wanted to do. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and protect um, if he is life orb explosion because I do I don't like I do not want to lose my forges this early, even though it is set up fodder for some of his mons. Um, I do want to keep it around. He does go for the T-Bolt, though, which is fine. Um, I'd assuming, I would be assuming he just wanted to try to get some consistent damage off. He goes for the explosion this turn. Just crits me. Cool. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go into Tangrowth right here, because uh, Tangrowth does actually take on pretty much whatever he sends out, bar Shandy. Um, so I guess his best play would be Shandy, but, you know, we'll, we'll see what he decides to do. Um... Honchkrow is actually looking like it can win the game because uh, as long as Shandy locks itself into Shadow Ball, then I Pursuit Trap and it's a Snack Wrap <laughs> um, because Luke won't... We'll actually technically have to weaken Luke, but, you know, it's okay. Um, we'll see what he decides to go into right here. Pert wouldn't be a horrible option for him, I'd assume, because he goes into Shandy. Got me. Well, now, what do I sack? Um, want to keep Koba. Really want to keep Koba. Because it beats, basically, the last three mods on his team. Um, he could Memento. That's something I have to keep in mind. I'm just going to go to Entei. Um, because I'm assuming he's going to click Fire Blast. And he does. Not a 2 at KO, which is great. Um... He has a pert. I'm, I'm clicking Sacred Fire. I think he has to switch right here. Um, I know he's choice locked. And now I am in like the better position. Unless he wants to just bank on me missing a Stone Edge. Which if I miss a Stone Edge I'm going to be pretty upset. Or if I did miss the hypothetical Stone Edge I would be upset. He just goes in a pert. Can we burn? Please? Nice. Okay. Sweet. I sounded super dumb when I said that. I was like nice. <laughs> anyway. Um, I'm gonna go into Koba right here and uh, hopefully get rocks up because I can take any one hit that he wants to go for as he just doubles in a shandy, which is fine. Uh, I'm getting rocks um, for sure as he misses fire blast, which is kind of lame, but you know, uh, what are you gonna do? I can't control it. I'm just clicking uh, Iron Head right here as he just does cook me right there. Um, I can go into Haunch Crow and I'm just gonna go ahead and click Sucker. I think it is my best play. He could be anticipating the pursuit since I did bring it in in this fashion. And I can't risk sacking another Mon to Chandelure. So he goes out in a Swampert, which is a good play on his part. Um, I will outspeed him no matter what, though, by one point. So I'm just clicking Brave Bird, and uh, we get in a kill, boys. Um, he could go into Lucario right here and just click E-Speed, which it does look like he's going to do right here. Oh, I don't really have a whole lot for this. This team is kind of shit. Uh-oh. <laughs> Um, I could always Brave Bird predicting him to, I'm just going to Brave Bird, as I should have suckered, nice, nice, making optimal plays, Geo, optimal plays, okay, I'm just clicking Hurricane right here, it's his best play to go into Tyrantrum, like, it's pretty free for him to do so, and uh, I think I lost, <laughs> unless, uh, unless by some miracle, um, I'm able to sweep with Tangrowth, question mark? Um, he just goes in a slurp puff right here, so, you know, 
getting this out of the way is nice. Um, I do get a crit, so he just dies. He, he missed out on a little bit of percent. Um, but, you know, what are you going to do? I'm just going to click Hurricane right here. It is my best play because um, I will 2 it KO this. I do get the Confuse full Confuse. So, like, I'm actually, like, an AIDS Pidgeot player. Um, but, you know, th this is one reason. This is, like, prime example to why Pidgeot really needs to go. Because, like, he had a resist chilling in the back. Um, obliterated. He goes into Lucario right here. This is going to die. I'm just clicking Hurricane. I'm not going to risk clicking Heat Wave because um, I don't have to. Um... So bye bye. Um, he has to lock himself in a shadow ball right here. Um, hmm, I can actually still lose. It's funny. Um, I'm clicking hurricane either way. Uh, no, he he has to lock himself in a fire blast. My bad. So he can actually still win this game. Um, he just needs to not miss fire blast for Sente, and I think he's looking good. I did kind of hack the shit out of this man, but he's still going to win, though, so I don't see what he's complaining about, unless he misses right here, which would be pretty pretty nice. Um, not going to lie, <laughs> I haven't won in a hot minute, so uh, I still lose, though, unless he like misses everything, or I crit him with Leaf Storm. But, you know, he ends up hitting, so uh, that's a good game, playing like shit. Um, may switch over to my alt here in a second if I lose. Oh, but got Hog. Oh, rip. See, Hog is actually a good player, too. So I'm about to lose. <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and lead Koba, because I feel like it is my best lead. Um, is he leads Frostlass, which is A-OK. -okay. Um, I can go ahead and go for the turn one Iron Head, as he's faster. Am I slow? No, he's just naturally faster than I am. Um, he can debond here if he really wants to. I'm going to predict him to debond and uh, get us. Yeah, OK, so there we go. Um, I felt like Devon was just a really obvious play, and I didn't really have any other options right there. So, you know, um, end up, like, getting him right there. Figured it was ob. Drug. Also, well, also, say hi. <laughs> anyway, um, I kind of feel like the trick is inbound right here. Because Forges is pretty obvious. Um, I'm going to make a ballsy play in CC. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Help. Now I look dumb. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, he's Scarf, though. So, we live in. Um, I'm going to go into Entei. And I'm just clicking Sacred Fire. Um, I try to get really ballsy right there and just completely style on him. But, you know, I guess that's what I get. Um... You know, good news is that we know this thing is Scarf now, which is obviously, like, a huge threat to my team. Um, and to be fair, like, Kobo was, like, offensively checking Luke, but after that it wasn't really doing a whole lot, so I don't feel too bad about losing that. Um, oh, God, nice voice crack. Uh, Haunch does actually kind of tear through his team unless he's Stallbreaker Arrow. He goes in his Toad right here, which is fine, and no Burneroni. Um, he's just going to get rocks here, I think, though. As I miss Sacred Fire. Nice. Made the play. Got punished. I'm going to go into Pidgeot and Defog, though. Um, as he goes into Shandy. Crispy. Um, I kind of want to... I kind of don't want to Mega Evolve. So that I can potentially dodge a Fire Blast. God, I'm so, I'm so bad. I'm going to go ahead and do that. As uh, I just die. Yeah, I lost. I'm playing like complete horse shit right now, but you know, it's okay. Um, I guess you can't win them all. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit him with the sucker because uh, I'm going to try to get him on his 50-50, although I'm getting, like, Jesus, I'm getting destroyed. Some send help. <laughs> um, I'm going to go for the sucker right here. No, I shouldn't actually. I, I actually just lose anyway, so it's okay. Uh, I'm just going to hit him with that suckeroni. Uh, as he misses the Stone Edge, so things are turning around. Um, I'm going to Brave Bird right here, because um, I feel like his best play is Roost, as he taunts. Nice. Oh, I got him, man. Uh, nah, he just missed the Stone Edge. Um, so he can go in a loop right here and uh, just pick me off, which I suppose is a good play. 
um, and it's what he's going to go into. I could Brave Bird, but I've been playing aggressively the entire time, and I've, it's just, like, ruined me. So I'm going to go into Forges and uh, click the Moon Blasts, the Blasting of the Moons. Um, if he's Iron Tail, I just lose. If he goes into Shandy, I'm doubling... If he goes into Shandy and tries to trick... I'm doubling. I could go Scarf Haunch Crow. So he just move as he just SDs in my face. Oops. Um, yeah, I lost. Was fun. I'm gonna protect to get some extra lefties back. Maybe it helps, as he has BP. Oops. <laughs> um, what are you gonna do? So you know. Casually gets destroyed by Hog. Um, I, I guess I should have expected to lose that game, but you know, it's whatever, man. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and click Giga Drain because on the off chance that I live a plus two Jolly Life Orb CC, then uh, I get to look cool. But uh, don't think that is the case. Yeah, I just die. Um. I can actually just go to Entei and E-Speed. And that's actually... Actually, I see an avenue to where I can win, but he has to sack this and he just goes to Shandy. So, you know, what are you going to do? Um, just click an E-Speed, though. Hopefully he knocks me out as he goes for Shadow Ball. Cool. Um, I'm going to go into Haunch Pro, and uh, he knows I can sucker him, but he doesn't... Like, it doesn't matter because uh, he has the faster priority. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just, just going to click Sucker. It's the safest play to uh, just sack. So unless he's like Fat Lucario, <laughs> which, you know, wouldn't, it, yeah, it would be unheard of. So, you know, that's a good game. Um, and that's going to go ahead and wrap up this live because I'm tilting like a, like you have never seen. Um, missing on my mark, no Katniss Everdeen. I uh, got him. Anyway, <laughs> that's going to go ahead and wrap up today's um Today's episode of Pokemon Showdown Live, if you guys did enjoy uh, watching me get absolutely curb stomped for, what has this been, 15 minutes, 12 minutes and 25 seconds, uh, then go ahead and leave a like, as uh, I really do appreciate all the support, especially coming back, I know that uh, it's sometimes hard to gather up support after, uh, after you've been gone, but I really do appreciate all the comments, all the likes, and uh, all the feedback that I've been getting. Uh, but anyway, with that, I urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content. And with that, I will catch you guys on the flip-flop.